it's Shari here today and I am going to be making this fun double pull tab card. So this card was a bit of a labor of love and I did mess up a couple of times but I kept that in here so that maybe we can all learn from my mistakes and not make them. So the first thing I've done is cut a panel with the largest outside in stitch rectangle and this is out of the speckled eggshell cardstock. Now I've put my bunting banner that's die cut up there just as a placeholder and I am going to stamp my images onto this background using butter ink and this is just so that it's light to where you won't see it but I can see it to line up my dies to cut the spots for my pull tabs. So that bunting I just threw it to the side that's going to come in later so you can see that that desk is there just enough for you to see where the image is going to be and then I'm going to also stamp the typewriter the one that does not have the paper because the paper is going to be our pull tab. So I'm just going to mark the center of the drawers and I'm going to draw a pencil line to the top so I know where to put my tab die cut, cut out the tab. I'm going to do the same thing with the center of the typewriter. So there's where my two pull tabs are going to be. And I've drawn a line on my little pull tab, the part that cuts the little notch out at the top so that I know where the center of that is and I can line it up with my pencil line very easily. The top of this die just goes against the top of the panel, just right against the paper, and then you just line up the notch where you want the notch cut. So you can see I've cut the first one where I drew that first line where the drawers are. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the second one. So I'm going to use the little slot die that comes with the Just My Type die set. So this one's a little shorter than the one that comes with the Let's Toast pull tab set. And I'm going to line it up with my drawers. Now I'm making sure that it's going to be completely covered by my image. So you can see there that it's just where all the drawers are. Now for the typewriter, I just had my stamp sitting on there so the little mouse head, he's going to stick up out of that typewriter so it can go past it a little bit. But then you can see there that that slot does not go past the bottom of the drawer of the desk. So that's going to also be completely hidden by the typewriter and the desk. So here's all my little images I'm going to use. I've got both of the mice with the paper, the desk, the typewriter, the other little mouse that's going to sit on the floor, and then the lamp. And then I stamped my sentiment in the one that's going to pop out of the typewriter. And I also stamped the extra little keys that go on the top of the typewriter. There's a couple choices there, and I chose the one that has the little heart for the center. So I'm just using some neutral grays to do some easy coloring of the desk. I wanted to kind of go with some different colors on this, so I'm using grays for my desk, and I'm going to make my mice brown colors. And usually our mice are gray, and the desk is brown. I thought I'd change it up a little bit. So I'm just doing some easy shading on the drawers. I am going to put a teal colored lamp to add some color and then my typewriter is going to be reds and pinks. So this is kind of inspired by the colors of my craft room. My desk is gray, it actually has a red leg on it on one side and then my walls are like an aqua color. So those are the colors that are in my room. So that's kind of where the inspiration for these colors came from. I'm just going to color in the background behind the keys with a pale gray. And then I'm going to go in with a pink for the keys. And I kind of got out of the keys a little bit, but I can go back with that gray and sort of kind of blend it away. So here's my little mice, and I'm going to color them in different shades of gray. I don't want them all to look exactly the same because let's be honest, not all mice are exactly the same color. Even if they're in the same family, they can be different colors, just like people. So I've gone in with some browns and then that one that's saying hello to you, he's kind of more a taupey brown or a gray brown. I'm going to color the paper just on this one. The other one you're going to see, I'm going to cut off the paper basically. I just want the mouse on that one. But before we do any of that, I am going to use the coordinating dies and line them up, hold them in place with some washi tape, and cut all my images out. All right, so now for some surgery. <laughs> so I'm going to cut a slit 
right along the top of that file drawer that's at the bottom, the big drawer. Ever since I saw this stamp set, I wanted to make a mouse pop out of that drawer. So now is the opportunity. So you can see there how I've cut a slit just along that line, and that little mouse is going to pop out of the drawer. So this is the mouse that's going to come out of the drawer, and I am going to trim off the paper. I'm just kind of trimming it off right under his little hands there. And then to figure out where I need to trim off the bottom, I'm just going to make a pencil mark at the bottom of the desk. So if he's hidden in the drawer, this is as long as my paper can be. So this is going to be a tiny little pull tab, just by the way. And you'll see as we go how much I had to cut down the tab to make it work. But there's what he's going to do. He's going to just pop out of the desk drawer ever so slightly. So I've cut two of the pull tab mechanisms from the Let's Toast pull tab die set. And I'm going to fold them along the score line. So you fold in on the first score line and then you fold out, making a Z. And you do that on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and attach the bottom of my typewriter to my desk because you're not going to be able to glue this typewriter down because that piece of paper needs to slide behind it. So it needs to be attached to something else to hold it in place. And that's the desk. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach that. Now for the first pull tab that the paper goes on, we don't have to do any crazy surgery to this die cut. We can use it just as it is. So I'm putting some adhesive on it. I've slid it through the slot. It is down as far as it needs to go. Not that that really matters at this point. Um, when we trim stuff off, that will matter. But it's as far down in the slot as it'll go. And then I'm just going to attach my little mouse with this piece of paper to the top of it. It's a little taller than the tabs, so you'll see I'm going to go in with my adhesive remover and just make sure that any of that sticky from that adhesive runner is gone so that it doesn't get stuck. And then, of course, erase, erase your pencil line. I almost forgot. <laughs> So now we're going to put the little sleeves around the back, and this is also in the pull tab die set. You just fold it, and I'm going to put some adhesive on the square in the middle. I'm going to line it up behind the slider. Make sure that that slider is lined up with the notch that's cut at the top, and then you can just wrap it around, and it makes like a little sleeve to hold that slider in place. All right, so now for the other one. So this is where it gets tricky. So we're going to have to cut it down, obviously, because this is a huge slider pull tab, and my mouse is tiny. But you can see it's going to get hidden back there. So the first thing I did to figure out where to start my dissecting of this was I drew a pencil line through that slit that I had cut at the top of the drawer. I at least know that I need to cut that much off the top. So I also know that it's a little too wide, and I need to cut it to be more the width of the mouse than the little piece I put behind it. So I'm just going to trace that with a pencil to give me an idea of how much to trim off. And this doesn't have to follow that shape because it's going to go behind and you're not going to see it. So I'm just trimming off those pieces so it's not as wide. You can see it's still folded in a Z, so it's still going to fit through that slot. Now here's where it messed up. It's a little too tall because that mouse is going to go through the drawer. And the part that's coming through the slot is going to get caught on the drawers above. So this is where I kind of made a mistake. Um, I had the desk down there and everything, and I had to pull it off. So you see me putting some adhesive on. I'm going to put that mouse on. I'm going to thread it through. I'm going to put the desk on, and then he is not going to come out of the drawer. That's what's going to happen. Because, again, the part that comes through the slot is just as tall as the mouse, and so it's at the top of his head, and it's going to hit the drawer. 
This is before I figured it out though. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sleeve on this one. And it was kind of tall. So I pushed when I pushed it back down, even though when it's on a card base, it probably won't do this. It kind of bowed out. So I actually put two sleeves on this one and just put one down the bottom. So if you have that problem for whatever reason, just add another sleeve. All right, so this is where I've pulled it apart because it would not come out of my drawer. So I realized that I need to trim it down even more. So it's only going to be this tiny, tiny little tab holding that piece of paper that's basically underneath the mouse. The mouse itself is not going to be on the tab at all because I want it to slide in front of the desk. And then this part is going to hit and stop him from going any further. So now that I've cut it down to that tiny little sliver that you saw, I'm just going to thread this back through the sleeves I've already put on the back. which is fairly easy to do. And since this tab's really small, it's easy to thread back through. So now I can adhere my little mouse and I just need a little bit of adhesive just along that piece of paper that's left underneath him. I'm just making sure that any extra adhesive is off so it doesn't get stuck. Because I already had a problem once. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the, the white piece that's below him on that tiny little bit of a tab that I've cut there. So now I'm going to thread him through the slot. I can see where this desk is supposed to be because of what I stamped on the background. And then I'm going to test it before I stick that desk down again. So now I'm sticking the desk down and I have some thin foam adhesive and I'm just cutting these little squares in half so that they're little pieces so they fit behind the leg of the desk and they don't get in the way of my slider. You can see I'm testing my little mouse. I'm going to move it to make sure that none of that adhesive is in the way. And now, since I stamped it on the back, I knew exactly where to put my adhesive. And then I can just thread the little mouse through the slit in the drawer and I can line up my desk and my typewriter with what I have stamped on the background previously. And then you're never going to see what we stamped on the background. It was just a very light guide. All right, so now that my mice are in there and my pull tabs are in there and they're working properly, you want to push them down to their starting position and you want to trim off the excess of the tab. So I'm going to go ahead and put on this little bunting that I cut. So this is cut from some narwhal cardstock. And then I'm just going to trim off the edges. I just thought this might be a nice way to decorate the office with some colorful bunting. And then I already have the little flags cut out of a bunch of rainbow pieces. So I'm just making a little rainbow bunting here. All right, so here is where I decided to make a stopper for this mouse. So he stopped, he's not gonna come out. But I also liked him just peeking out and you didn't see the white. So this is where I actually want it to stop. So the desk is what's stopping it before, but now just to fine tune it a little bit more, all I have is a little sliver of cardstock. I'm just gonna put adhesive on the sides. I'm gonna slide it in, I've, I've got him where I want him to be. So I'm going to slide it in and push it down to where that stopper is. And now you can see that he's just going to stop peeking out and you're not going to see the white. I'm going to go ahead and put some foam adhesive on the lamp. And I put the foam on this just to match the height on the card and the dimension of the desk. Now I'm going to make a little floor. I've cut some storm cloud cardstock with that same stitch rectangle so that it has the stitching detail. I'm just going to cut it down to the width that I need to fit under my desk. I've also cut out the little tab pieces that go on the top out of some of that narwhal cardstock. stock. 
So I'm just using liquid glue to put these on because it holds them nice and tight. I've had some problems with adhesive coming off, but the liquid glue works really well. So I'm gonna add that other little mouse. I used some foam adhesive on him. And then I'm gonna put a whole bunch of foam on the back, avoiding the sliders. So you can see I even put some skinny ones between them. And then I'm gonna put this on a card base. And then this is where disaster strikes. <laughs> The mouse slid behind the desk and I could not get him out. Once I did get him out, it actually started like splitting the paper because it kept getting caught. So that's when I realized I need him to start with his ears partially out. He can't be completely hidden because that will keep it from sliding back there. So I have pulled this off my card base. You can see he needs to be a little bit higher. I've pulled that tab off. I'm going to use another piece of foam adhesive as a stopper for the bottom so he doesn't go down any further. And his little ears are sticking out. Now he's not gonna get caught. And he's working correctly. I'm gonna put a new die cut for the tab at the top where I pulled the other one off. You can see it's kind of terrible there because I did use the little but I'm gonna cover up the parts that you can see. I'm gonna fill in those little arrows with that dark gray cardstock, with this storm cloud cardstock, so it'll be fine. So back to the card base, which I managed to salvage, by the way. It looks not too terribly bad. I didn't tear it where you're gonna see it. And now I can stick it back down, and now it works. And it is so cute, and I am so happy that I stuck with it and figured out the problems that I was having. And hopefully you guys can learn from that if you want to try this modifying the pull tab in a different way. And here I am just filling in those little arrows with the dark gray. And really that's just to fill in where you can see I pulled off the other tab at the top. I wasn't even really going to do this, but it's a good way to cover up your mistakes. So now he pulls out of the drawer and then the typewriter works perfectly. And I'm so pleased with how it turned out. And I can't seem to make a card without a couple little hearts. I just wanted to fill it in a little bit. It seemed a little blank. So I have some little die cut hearts and guava card stock that I'm just gonna sprinkle out. So how cute is this? It's like the little mice came to work. I wish mice would come do all my work at the office. That would be fun. So here's another look at the card. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.